42 degrees in the steak ager. Houston, I think we have a problem. That's this time. This is a like a one week follow up on the steak ager. A few of the things that I've figured out that are kind of a, a problem for it. It uh, first couple of days did wonderful. Stayed right around 37 degrees and the humidity was up around 98%, but it seemed to be happy. Then day after day after day, the temperature inside the, the steak ager kept going up. Now, little, little ditty about Jack and Diane. Um, the machine, the, the readout that I have in there is an outdoor thermometer that's supposed to tell you outdoor temperature and humidity. It was never really calibrated to be that accurate. So, uh, you know, plus or minus five degrees maybe, some, some ways. Now I'm figuring that the, uh, the sensor pack in the, the steak ager, they're probably a lot more precise. According to the steak gauger, the temperature never got above 39.5. But when it hit 39.5, according to the steak gauger, I figured I figured out I had to do something. So, but I was trying to figure out what. I'd read that maybe the, the steak gauger in there caused air to flow to not work right. And then I happened to be watching my original video and, well, the end. And this, this scene came up. Wait, wait, wait. See that right there? See that frost? Could that be the problem? It just might be. So I'm going to defrost the refrigerator this time and see if that helps. Wish me luck.